to the Chibi Park Group 1 action coming at 2.25 and uh, Pretty Pollyanna has done a little wrong since she stopped the market. Yeah, Very well, nice. a cold price. Oh, so yeah, so yeah. who's the other one? We have to get that before the end of the show. Ten who's the yeah. other cold leave, person? Because Sergei Prokofiev was beaten on debut. Yeah. 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 Still can't. Mm. Uh, anyway. Uh, warm order, Tom, as you mentioned, uh, Pretty Pollyanna, 11 to 8. Uh, Signora Cabello is in there at 92. Fairyland, the aforementioned, 7 to 1, along with Lady K, also 7 to 1, 8 to 1, so perfect. We got 14 spiders. Parked at 1 the other day in Nace. Uh, oh, the Frankel. American colours. The Frankel, yeah. 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 What's it called? Do you remember? Old Glory. Old, Old Glory. Glory, yeah. Good show, Geno. Yeah. Good show, Geno. Uh, right, let's move on to the uh, Shively Park. A nice se segue to my fancy here, because yeah. I fancy a filly who won first time out which is very rare. Uh, so perfect, it's completely the forgotten horse of the race. I like agree. You just go through her form. She won at Navin on, de on debut, which we've said is a rare feat for a newcomer from Bally Doyle. She was caught in a pocket next time behind Cervela and that Nace got no run at all. Forget about it. She flew home and I thought was the moral winner of the Queen Mary, which obviously had Signora Cabello. She beat Skidder Scatter next time. She beat Skidder Scatter, which is very hard to do. Lethal Promise has since franked the form. That was in the Grange Con. Uh, Lethal Promise was back and forth that day. She came back from a six weeks absence to chase home, advertise in the Phoenix Stake against the boys. And you know what? I just go through our form, and I just think we haven't even seen the best of her yet. Aidan O'Brien has won the last two runnings of this, but he won it in 2016 with Brave Anna. Brave Anna was a 25 to one shot, supposedly the second string. And I know that Fairyland looks the first string, but I think So Perfect is a better filly than, than Fairyland. Mm -hmm. I, I think So Perfect could go off about fours or fives. Yeah, fair enough. Johnny, what about you? Yeah, I think she's a huge chance, you know, and her, her run behind advertise is very solid form. I know the favour of Anna Shocker on the day and Aidan's horse were a bit in and out, but she was backed and she she ran a very, very solid race and what was a hot race. Um, I think she'll run a big race. I'll, probably with the favourite, I just think her, her her French run beating the Colts was is the best bit of form. She looks very, very smart and straightforward as well. Um, but I, I, I probably have a save on so perfect. Um, pretty Pollyanna does look the best of them, though. In fairness, you give Lady Kai any sort of squeak. A squeak. I, I, I do think though you're looking at about you know Michael Bell. It'd be nice for him to have a nice filly again. Like since yeah. Sariska, what has he had? And just Big a word orange. on Michael Bell. If you do fancy pretty Pollyanna, his last sixteen runners, four have won, four were second, and four were third. So his team are in top mm. form. They're just starting to hit top form now. It'd be great for Sheila Lavery as well. She'd be one of the more popular characters in in Irish racing. Yeah.